Hello, my name is Raleigh Martin, and I'm a program officer with the Geoinformatics Program in the Division of Earth Sciences at NSF. Thank you to the organizers for putting together this magic meeting. I'm glad you're finally able to meet in person after multiple postponements due to the pandemic. I'm sorry I cannot attend the magic meeting in person, but I'm looking forward to watching some of the sessions later when they are posted online. In lieu of attending in person, I am providing these recorded remarks today to offer a few brief updates from NSF regarding emerging themes and opportunities for open science and cyber infrastructure development. One big area of interest at NSF right now is in open science. You may have heard that the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, or OSTP, recently declared 2023 as the Federal Year of Open Science. This announcement follows on the August 2022 publication of an OSTP memo, authored by then OSTP Director Alondra Nelson, calling for immediate open access to federally funded publications and the data underlying them. In response, NSF is preparing an updated public access plan describing how NSF plans to implement the new OSTP requirements. I expect this plan will be released in the next few months. Within NSF, a key activity to advance open science is development of the NSF Public Access Repository, or NSF PAR. Currently, NSF PIs are required to deposit their publications in NSF PAR within an up to one year embargo period before public release. A recent update to PAR optionally allows NSF PIs to also index the NSF funded datasets in NSF PAR. These NSF PAR dataset entries may link to the original site of data deposit, such as the MAGIC repository. Further updates to NSF PAR are expected in response to the OSTP memo in the coming years. NSF is also supporting a series of agency wide activities around open science and public access. This includes a new solicitation last year for research coordination networks on FAIR principles and open science practices, or FAROS RCNs. NSF also recently published a Dear Colleague letter on principles of reproducible and replicable science. More information on NSF public access efforts can be found at this QR code. You are also encouraged to provide feedback at the email address publicaccess at nsf.gov. So within the Geosciences Directorate, we re recently announced a new opportunity, the Geo Open Science Ecosystem, to support open science activities to meet the needs of geoscientists. Priorities for the Geo OSE program include making cyber infrastructure more open, democratizing access to data, computing, and other research products for geoscientists, capacity building, and advancing open science principles. For example, a GeoOSE proposal could advance cloud-based approaches and workflows for geoscientists to more seamlessly access and utilize data and computation in response to demonstrated geoscience needs. Acknowledging the range of readiness levels of geoscience communities, the GeoOSE program offers funding on two tracks based on project scale. The proposal deadline for this competition is very soon, March 16th. We have not yet announced what comes yet what comes next after this, but we anticipate the current GeoOSE competition is leading into future related opportunities. In addition to the GeoOSE solicitation, I wanted to make you aware of other related cyber infrastructure opportunities for geoscientists. When we talk about cyber infrastructure, or CI for short, we are referring to resources for data curation, access, synthesis, and analysis, capabilities for modeling and computation, and other cyber tools that increase capacity for research and education, such as tools to enable research and education workflows. I will note that we regularly update our GeoCI webpage, which can be found at this QR code, uh, where we announce a new opportunities in this area. Uh, one new opportunity that spans the Geo Directorate is a new Dear Colleague letter encouraging novel uses of artificial intelligence and machine learning methods in the geosciences via proposal submissions to core programs. In the Division of Earth Sciences, the Geoinformatics program is a standing program that supports widely used cyber infrastructure focused on the needs of Earth scientists. In addition, I will note that pilot CI development, such as development of software or databases, may also be embedded in proposals submitted to EAR core programs if framed within the context of advancing science research objectives. For work that is focused on marine geosciences, I would encourage you to connect with the Marine Geology and Geophysics program 
or other programs in the Division of Ocean Sciences. Finally, please be sure to check out opportunities within NSF's Office of Advanced Cyber Infrastructure, or OAC. These include the annual competition for Cyber Infrastructure for Sustained Scientific Innovation, or CSSI, which is the primary space for innovation and new cyber infrastructure approaches to serve scientific domains. The programs for cyber training and for strengthening the cyber infrastructure professionals ecosystem, or Skype, support training and workforce development for cyber infrastructure. These give you just a flavor of relevant opportunities at NSF. Please do not hesitate to reach out to me or other program officers associated with these programs to learn more. So with that, that's all I have to share today. Again, I'm sorry I cannot be there to attend the magic meeting in person, but I wish you all the best over the coming days. Thank you.